You're watching WMAR 2 News. Carroll County investigators are working to find out what started a fire that killed a woman in Tawnytown. A passerby spotted the fire on Roop Road just before noon on Saturday. By the time firefighters arrived on the scene, the house was just taken over by smoke and fire. They later discovered the body of 57 year old Jan Williams inside. Seven people managed to escape, including a young couple and their four month old baby. They told me that there was a fire and it was coming through on their side. They opened up the door and fire came in. The, the three of them, Zachary Casey and my grandson Dylan, made it out. I thank God. I thank the firefighters. Investigators found no working smoke alarms inside the home. And you might think everybody has internet or a working computer in this day and age, but you're, you're going to be wrong. Pew Research says people with lower household income are less likely to have adequate technology. About four in 10 adults with lower incomes do not have home broadband services. And the digital divide is a problem right here in Baltimore, too. And that's why Mayor Brandon Scott is teaming up with PCs for People, a group that helps bring technology to the people. Brandon, uh, Mayor Brandon Scott called the group essential to the city. This could be. Uh, can my child learn or not? Can I work or not? Can I apply for jobs or not? Can I get that certification that I need to keep my job or not? That's what this work that PCs for People does every day. And AT&T gave the organization $500,000 to help close the digital divide here in our city. Mayor Scott also said getting better internet access for the city has been a goal of his and that having quality internet access shouldn't depend on where you live. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Oh, well, looking at a mix of sun and clouds as we head into your Tuesday. Temperatures are going to be a little chilly for the morning drive. And we're only going to recover into the 50s for the afternoon. With breezy winds, those 50s are going to feel like 40s at least for the first half of the day. Expecting daytime highs to top 54 here in Baltimore, 55 in Annapolis, 53 in Chestertown. And we're talking about the upper 40s near the Mason-Dixon line. And, and your forecast warms as we head towards your Wednesday, but still below low average getting into seasonal territory by Thursday the 70s making a triumphant return just in time for the weekend. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.